is one of my student examples. I'm pretty pleased with what it's turning out to be like. So good job, friend. Trace your hand to make a large circle on your paper. That large circle will be the top of the horse's head. You can use dotted line or a slightly light line. After that, make a fist, slide it down, and trace a medium-sized circle around the fist. Go ahead and trace around it lightly. You will be erasing it afterwards. You can make a line down the middle and across where the eye level will go. Then we will connect these circles with two curvy lines on the sides. It should look like an upside down bowling pin. Now we are ready for details. Make two nostrils. It kind of looks like a little raindrop or a little yin yang sign. Make them even. Then make two curves to create the muscle area of the horse's uh, face, the nose area. Then the eyes, make them symmetrical, same size and same place on both sides of the head. Make large eyes. Later on in part two, I will show you how to color them in very nicely with color pencils. Now move on to the ears, pull them up, and make sure that they are symmetrical. That means the same on each side. Please remember the proportion of your horse's head. If it's a large head, then you need to have ears that match that size. Then in the middle, you can make part of the mane, part of the hair that hangs on the front of the horse. And then go ahead and start the outlining of the muscle, which is the nose area. You can define it a little bit more if you'd like to. And lastly, the lines that go to the back of the horse's neck and then the front. If you have a lot of space, you may have to extend the line all the way to the bottom of the paper. You may even have to show a little bit of muscle in the front of the horse's body. When you are finished with your horse drawing, you will need scissors and you will carefully cut right along the outside line of your horse drawing. Be careful not to cut off the ears or part of the neck. After you are done cutting out your horse, place it on top of your dark colored construction paper and trace around the outside. Then you will cut the line between the body and the head, place the head back on your paper, trace that line, and you will do the same for other details such as the lines above the nose, you flip it like a little flip book, trace those lines, and then you will do the same to the eyes. I cut the little line above each eyeball. If you want to, go ahead and draw the mane as well. You see here, I cut the little slit on top and I flipped it down and then trace where the eyeball would be. Stay tuned for part two, coloring.